Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. This is Pure Mathematics P3 from the International Aid of Edexcel, January 2022 exam. This question here, two part A, says show that the equation eight cosine theta equals three cosec theta can be written in the form sine two theta equals k, where k is a constant to be found. Okay, so we have to rewrite this in this form. Okay, so the first step we have to do what we have to take is to take this now there's not much we can do with this actually beginning except to write cosec theta as it's you know it's a reciprocal function write it as it's reciprocal cosec is a reciprocal of sine so i'll write this as three over sine theta Okay, this is 3 times 1 over sine theta. That's 3 over sine theta. That's like the first step. Now, let's get rid of the fraction. Let's multiply both sides of the equation by sine theta, in which case we'll have 8 times sine theta times cosine theta equals 3. All right, now, one of the identities that we should know, which is not given to us in the formula book, we should know, is that the sine of 2a equals 2 times sine a cosine a now if we forget this identity if we forget this identity okay then there is an identity in the formula book which is given as sine a plus minus b equals sine a times cosine b plus minus cosine a times sine b and this formula, or this particular expression here, this, this identity, can be used to form this identity. You can derive this identity from it. Because here, sine 2a is just simply sine a plus a. That's sine 2a. So if you follow this, this will be sine a times cosine a. Sine a times cosine a. If there's a plus here, that's a plus. Plus cosine a times sine a, which is the same thing as sine a times cosine a so you end up with sine a plus a which is sine 2a is equal to well there's two of these 2 sine a cosine a so that's where this identity comes from this you should really know it by the time of your exam it should be engraved in your brain but if you forget it it can be easily um, derived from the formula this is given in the formula book this one mm -hmm. and you can use it if you just use a bit of you know, um, logic here, sine a plus a sine 2a, you can use it to derive this one. And also the double angle formula for cosine as well. You can also do the same thing for that. That would also work. Okay, so that's something which we have to try to understand. So now, I can use that now to rewrite this in a form. So we know that sine 2a equals 2 sine a cosine a. So if I write, if I take out a 4 from this and write this as 2 sine theta cosine theta equals 3. Now I can replace this with sine 2 theta. So I have 4 times sine of 2 theta is equal to 3 and that's exactly what you know we want it in this form. I can then divide both sides by 4 so I can then say that therefore we can say sine of 2 theta is equal to 3 over 4 where k is a constant to be found so the k is 3 quarters okay so there's the answer to part a now we need to answer part b which is on the next page okay hence find the smallest positive positive solution of the equation 8 cosine theta equals 3 cosine 3 cosec theta so we just worked out that um, this can be rewritten as the sine of 2 theta equals 3 quarters Okay, so we have to solve this equation um, and find the smallest positive solution. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, find what 2 theta is. So 2 theta is equal to the inverse sine of 3 quarters. Now we want ourselves to be in degree mode. So we make sure that our calculator is in degree mode, which it is. If it wasn't, you would go shift, menu, angle, unit, and change it to degree mode or it's already in degree mode that's fine so i want to find the angle which has the ratio for sine of three quarters so inverse sine three quarters and that will give us the angle 
in degrees, so that's 48.590, the smallest positive solution of the equation. Okay, so 2 theta is equal to 48.590. So 2 theta equals 48.5903, dot, dot, dot. So theta, therefore, is going to be 48.5903 divided by 2. So theta is going to be divided by 2, which gives you 24.295. Okay, so theta is equal to 24.3 degrees. That's the smallest positive solution of this equation. Okay, so there's the answer to that question, um, part B of 2. And I think that was all of question 2. And other questions from this particular um, paper, you can find in the playlist that will appear in this area here. And this is the paper January 2022, P3 international a level other questions from this particular topic of trig identities and equations from p3 can be found in this playlist and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon